the progression is relentless and we still don't have ways of stopping it. Have you heard of Friedrich's ataxia? Well, it's a rare genetic disease, a condition mostly known for causing mobility issues like ALS. Now a team of researchers here at the Montreal Neurological Institute are joining an international study to find a treatment. It affects the nervous system, but also it causes scoliosis, it causes heart disease, it predisposes to diabetes, so it's really, it's really a complex disorder. The observational study involves patients taking MRI scans, blood tests, and a physical examination. But we also needed to know more about the disease, and we must have ways of rapidly and effectively test new therapeutics. The initial diagnosis was not a fake. It was something else because no one knew F.A. at that time. Rijul Agarwal, who was diagnosed with F.A. nearly a decade ago, says he finds hope in participating in the research. Being uh, someone who can be a part of something to find a solution for it, uh, that means really a lot to me, so that's pretty much why I decided to participate. Brittany Summerfield is from Winnipeg. She was diagnosed with F.A. when she was just 13 years old. For her, participating in this study was an easy choice. There's no drug or anything. You don't put anything in your body. So it was a pretty simple decision for me to have to participate. Doctors say people with this rare genetic disease are usually of European, North African, Middle Eastern or Indian ancestry. In Quebec, uh, in particular, where we have a substantial population that moved here from France, this condition is relatively frequent. According to the Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance, the disease affects 15,000 people worldwide. We estimate that maybe a thousand per people, a thousand patients or so are in Canada now. The study involves participants from around the world, and patients will have three study visits, approximately one each year. Researchers here hope to recruit more patients with F.A. by the end of the month. I am hopeful that science will, you know, progress and find a solution for it in the future. But since there is nothing now, then pretty much uh, do what I can. In Montreal, Sridharasi, City News.